So this is the main interface of the software. I've added one category drinks and in the drinks I've added two products. I'll show you how to sell it. Tap on the product, it will appear here in the left corner and then tap on the payment. Here the payment type, select the payment type and here the total payment will show. If they pay you 8, so just tap on this button. If they pay you more like for example 20, so type here 20 and you'll have to pay them 12 uh, change back and then OK. Here you can print the receipts, you can print the invoice, you can send the email, you can also save it as PDF. I'll print the receipt here. So this is the receipt that will be printed to your thermal printer. As I don't have any printer attached, so I'm showing it to you in the PDF file. Now tap on OK. Now I'll show you that how you can add the product. Go to the top right here in the management. Go to the products. Here you will see new group and new product. If you want to add new group, for example, a new category like fast foods, tap on the new group. Here type the fast foods and it will be added. A new group is added here. Now here in the fast food tap on the new product and type the name of the product for example pizza and pizza unit of measurement is pieces and type the price here uh, for example 15 and text included here for example it cost me 8 and I'm selling it for 15 type save and now this pizza will show you you can see it will show in the main panel here in fast foods you can select the pizza and you can sell it you can also void the order here if the order is no more needed the person is not interested to buy it you can void the order here you can also delete our, an order here select it and delete the product from the order now for example I've added this pizza but I also have to add the stock for pizza so for that you'll have to go to the management again here you can see the stocks and here select the pizza and quick inventory here write 100 pieces I have 100 pieces of pizza 100 stock quantity is added now you can sell 100 pizza here in the fast foods and you can sell it you can increase and decrease the quantity of pizza here select the product and tap on the quantity and you can increase or decrease it. For example, I want to sell 20 pizza. The quantity is increased to 20. I want to decrease it to 10. So you can increase or decrease it. You can also put discount on the product. For example, here to discount. If you want to give discount in percentage, you can give it. For example, 20%. If you want to give it in uh, a fixed amount, so you can also give it here. 20% and yeah, here. Now I'll sell this product. And for example, that person pays me 80 AED in a credit card. So I'll write here 80 in credit card. And the rest he paid through cash. I'll select it. And the 40. This is called splitting payment method. 80 he paid in a credit card and 40 in cash. OK. And print the receipt here. And then done. Now I'll show you the reports that here you can see daily reports if you want to increase the date of report you can also increase it to month to week to year as much as you want also you can go to here in the management and in the management you can see you can filter your documents by product by users by cash registers and all that I'll search it here all product will show you can delete the product you can edit it you can save it as PDF you can print it also, if you want reporting, you can go to the reporting and here you can see all different types of reporting. You can see the reports through product, product groups, customer, text rate and all that. You can see it here. You can put filter on here. OK, and then search product group and then show reports. It will show you reports and then you can print it. Now, if you want to see the dashboard, your monthly sale, your yearly sale through a graph. You can go to the, here 
in the management panel and in the management the top in the top you can see the dashboard it will show you your monthly sales your total sales your total amount that you receive hourly sale top products and all that your top customers your top product groups everything you can see it here two graphs now if for example you take some cash out of the drawer or you add some cash in the drawer so you can uh, go to the cash in and cash out and here for example you edit some cash in the drawer write the amount here for example 380 and write the reason why did you edit it why did you edit so type the reason here and save it if you take some cash out similar is the method go here in the cash in and cash out and remove cash for example 280 you remove and then type the reason here and select the remove cash and save it now the next feature is end of the day come to the end of the day and you can close all register here when you close all register here uh, a report will be shown you can also print the x report here you can cash out here and cash out all user here you can also see the history here last but not the least users and security you can add your user info here and also if you want to add any user so go into the management panel in the management panel here you can see user and security if you want to add a user tap on the add user type his first and last name all details you can put it here and select his access level what access level do you want to give him so once you select the access level here come to the security and give him the access level for example you don't want to give the access of management to the cashier so increase this level to 9 and if you don't want to give the setting uh, access to the cashier so increase this level to 9 and similar goes for all now in the end I'll show you some extra features like how you can make refunds how you can uh, save a sale I'll show you so if for example a person wants a refund so go here in new sales history the document that is printed will have a document number Add that document number here and his sale will appear on the top select that sale and here you can tap on the refund and refund in cash through credit card you can select the payment method and then ok that's how you refund to uh, your customers and in the end if for example here you wanted to delete a product you can delete it from here select the product and delete it here if for example you want to put the uh, discount on the whole card not on a single product so you can also put it here whole card whole card discount or if you want to put the discount on a single item so select the item discount and here you can put the discount only a single item that's all for today hope it helped you